Hello there, my friends, and welcome to this List Infinity training video. I'm Angela, and in this video, I will be showing you how to create your GetResponse account and how to connect that account to List Infinity. Now, the first thing you want to do is log into your back office here and uh, make sure you read the, how the system works so you understand the value of what you have here. The next thing you want to do is you want to go to System Setup, and then you want to go to Connect Your Autoresponder. Now, um, you have two options. You can either connect the Aweber or get response. And the main difference, apart from uh, that, uh, price and all that stuff, is that if you choose Aweber, then it's very simple for you to import the done for you 30 day email campaign into Aweber. It's really the click of a button. And if you choose get response, then you have to actually go ahead and copy and paste the email campaigns in get response okay so make your decision wisely and of course if you already have the autoresponder then this is not even um, applicable for you now the other thing you should be aware of is that if you sign up for a free account within the platform with aweber then you'll be helping your sponsor out so that they can start to earn a monthly residual income if you do decide to upgrade at a certain point because both of these autoresponders are free to use up to 500 contacts. So once you go past the 500 contacts, then there's going to be a monthly cost for that. Now, the way um, it works is if you're going to go with Aweber, you just click this list ID here and the step by step instructions of how to go, uh, get, go ahead and get these, this ID number here. And if you are with get response, then we need a list token. So you just click this list token here and the step-by-step -step instruction on how to get your list token. And once you paste your uh, Airweb ID or, or your list token, you just hit uh, save. We recommend that you leave this at no because you only want to capture the email address and then you can always um, capture the, the name and email when they uh, create the list infinity account, okay? So the less you ask on the capture page, the easier, the more leads you're gonna get. Now, let's go ahead and actually create our get response account. So here I am um, on get response. I'm gonna hit sign up for free because I wanna create a free account for you. And uh, pause this video, fill out this, and I'll see you in a Okay, so what I did was uh, put my full name, email address, and password and hit create account. So this is loading here now. Okay, so we go to my Gmail in order to activate that account. So it's a similar process to um, Aweber. These are the top, um, autos, top two autoresponders out there that have been in the game for a while. Okay, so yeah, please activate your get response account. Almost done, so activate my account. Okay, here we have the uh, same process. We're going to fill out our contact information, our mobile number, so that this, uh, why we need this here is so that it appears at the bottom of the email, so we are um, spam compliant. Another onboarding survey to fill out. So do you have contacts? Yes, I do. No, I don't. So if you have contacts, you can actually upload, upload them. Otherwise, you can just say no. Uh, do you have a website? You can say yes, I do, because you can paste your website link here at the top you can paste that there the referral link place it there so again this is free um, up to 500 contacts so we say maybe later take me to the dashboard and once we're in the dashboard here we have to get that uh, token so we go back to system setup we go to connect your autoresponder and then we go get response and then we click list token so here we, we find out how to get that list token. So we even have screenshots. We go to, we log in, we go to contacts list from the top menu. So here we go to lists, from the top menu here, and find the list which you want to integrate with um, get response. So if you're creating a new account, then you, this can be your list infinity list. This is the one you want. And if you already have a get response, you know how to create a new list. So that way the list, the opt-in to the list infinity end up in this particular list. So here it is, we have this one. So we can, you can always um, edit the name here as well. And uh, otherwise what we're looking for is select contact list from the top menu. So find the list you wish to integrate with list infinity and select settings on the top on the right, then get your list tokens. So we're simply gonna follow the instructions 
we're just going to click here and we're going to go to settings. We'll click these three dots and then we click settings. Okay. So we can give it a title, we can give it a description. So the, this is what members will see. Um, so choose them wisely and then you can pick a category, a language. So you can do that stuff. You can put a logo. But this is the ID that we're looking for here. This is the list token we're looking for here. Sorry, it's list token for get response. So it starts with a Z and it ends with a T. So we just want to copy that from Z to T. And then right click copy and we go back. And he shows us here that, that that is it from five to Y in this example. And then you literally just come up here, paste it there and hit save. That's all you do to connect your get response autoresponder to list infinity. So in the next video, we'll be going through how to actually import your done for you email and so on and so forth. I've been Angela wishing you the best year ever. Thank you and have a fantastic day.